Hey, what's up guys? It's X Morgan with My Spiritual Life. And today I have some very special updates slash announcements slash new things about this very channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about me navigating life after leaving a high demand religion. Okay, so before I tell you about all my new thoughts and ideas for the channel this week, I really want to lead you through what has happened in my life that has led to these decisions. So the first thing I wanted to bring up was that the channel has hit a viewership lull the last couple months. And that can be a lot of reasons, like it can be the content, it can be what's going on with the holidays, it can be what's going on in people's lives and all that. YouTube is just a very tricky, tricky thing because basically when you put these videos out there, the most likely way people are able to see them is that YouTube's algorithm will recommend your video to people that are watching similar content. So essentially the YouTube God or YouTube algorithm basically may or may not recommend your video to other people. And if it's not recommending your videos to other people, the channel doesn't do as well. There's not a lot of control that you have over that, but the point is this has brought me to a space where I've been trying to reevaluate what this channel is for, what kind of things I wanna be putting out there, is this helping people still? It Basically, is this worth continuing, you know? Um, it, it feels like a crossroads to me. The second thing I wanna bring up that's kinda led me to the decisions that I've made moving forward is I've been asking myself, cause it's 2021 now, you know, it's like January, you're like you're doing all your resolutions and everything. And I've been asking myself like, what do I really want to give to the world? Like, what do I feel like I want my mission in life to be? If I could teach anyone like something, like one thing, like what would that one thing be? What I kept coming back to in my mind was just the struggle with self-doubt. And when I started to think about it more deeply, I realized that so many of my core issues with leaving this, this church I grew up in were all revolving around self-doubt. Like, that whole like stage you go in at the beginning, like what if I'm wrong and you're like terrified and you're scared of like God and and then like the fear of judgment from your family members and friends, the constant second guessing yourself and feeling insecure and dealing with the guilt and shame. And I feel like so much of it is just revolving around that self-doubt that's just so deeply been ingrained in us from such a young age, partly because of the religion we grew up in or partly just because of our unhealthy family dynamics. So I was thinking to myself, like there's a lot of channels out there targeting, you know, church history, targeting like um, what different prophets and apostles have said and, and targeting church uh, media outputs, lessons and videos and things like that, or interviews. And I realized like, but I feel like there's not a whole lot of channels targeting like how to actually actively work through and overcome self-doubt and other ingrained unhealthy things that we've learned through these organizations. That being said, my plan for the channel this year is to make content that is specifically focused to help you deal with the self-doubt and other ingrained unhealthy beliefs that you were taught in your life. I want to do this through giving you guys specific exercises or journal questions or whatever actually giving you things you can actively do to try to reclaim your confidence. <laughs> By reclaim, I mean probably claim it for the first freaking time, right? I feel like I've already done a lot of videos like that on this channel, but I just want it to be more focused this year and, and be more like giving you opportunities to actively participate. The second thing I wanna mention moving forward is that I created a new Facebook group called my spiritual life something or another. I don't know. It's going to be done by the time this video goes out. And it's going to be in the link below. It's a special private Facebook group for people like you who want to join me in this journey and connect with each other more as we're working through this content together. Because I'm going to be giving you guys challenges and exercises and things like that. I just would love if we could do them together if we could talk to each other, if we could actually connect over these issues that we're facing and actively move forward together. I really wanna close the gap between our screens. Like, I, I want this to be a space where we can really help each other to move forward and not just 
kind of sit and stew in the problems that we have. The church you grew up in or the harmful beliefs you were taught growing up or whatever else brought you to this channel has wasted enough of your life. Because every time you hide who you really are, every time you feel needless guilt and shame, every time you second guess yourself and hold yourself back from moving forward in life, you're letting that organization or your family or your beliefs you were taught waste even more of your life than it already has. Leaving the church that I grew up in was one of the hardest things I ever did. But the journey didn't stop there. And I really want to give you guys tools and tips and, and things you can do to, to push yourself through all of the harm that those things did to you. And to really just shed yourself of the labels, like Mormon, ex-Mormon, like, I just, I just want to be me. So, my first challenge to you guys this year is to pick one word that you really want to encapsulate your 2021 year. Let it be something you really want to focus on. Um, it could be forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving someone else. It could be... Um, happiness, like trying to find joy in the present moment. For, for me, I thought a lot about what I wanted my word to be this year. And it just like, it's freedom. Like, I want to feel totally free to be me. I really want to let go of feeling afraid of what other people think of me or feeling like I have to walk on eggshells or that I can't really put myself out there into the world in a meaningful way. I feel like my whole life I've spent it trapped in what other people are thinking of me or, or judging about me. And I'm just so ready to be done with that story. Like, I'm just ready to let it go and move on. I'm ready to feel good about who I am. So click the link below, go over to my Facebook group, and I'll have a post ready where you guys can comment what's your one word for 2021. And why is it so important to you? I heard this quote a while back that it says, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And it's kind of like a silly quote, but I find so much meaning in it. Because we all have things we want, but oftentimes we don't actually do anything to make those changes to get the things that we want. I think part of it is because we're kind of caught up in the busyness of life, just kind of going moment to moment, you know, feeding kids, going to work, all that. But I think the other reason why we, we don't change or we don't take active participation in trying to make changes in our lives is because we just don't know how. I'm so, so excited for kind of my new vision for the channel this year for a couple reasons. One, because... It gives me the opportunity to talk more about what's on my heart, what really matters to me. And two, it gives me a chance to connect with you guys more and, and in a more meaningful way. I want to say thank you to everyone who supported us this far. So many of you have been there for me and for Jared from the very beginning of this channel over two years ago now. Over two years and a hundred videos later, here we are. And we might be asking ourselves, what now? You know, I think after any big decision in life, we kind of ask ourselves, what now? Like, <laughs> I left Mormonism, now what? And I hope to be able to give you guys some tools and tips that will help you find your answer to that question. What now? <laughs> Hopefully more freedom. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to join the private Facebook group where we can all support each other. I'm really excited to grow this community and support and help. You're not alone in what you're going through and hopefully together we can move forward. Peace.